What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of Tech. Once again, I have a late night video update for you guys because some incredible things are happening. Essentially, I woke up from, of course, taking a nap, I guess, at this point, and it's turned into creating a video. Flux has gone ahead and started to flip Ethereum on GPU mining profitability due to an increase in the price of Flux. Let's get into it right after a word from today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is BT Miners. Purchasing mining equipment online can be dangerous. With all of the fake storefronts and scams, it can be hard to find a reliable source. That's why when BT Miners reached out for a channel sponsorship, I started by verifying that ordering and delivery went smoothly with a purchase of my own. If you are looking to purchase ASICs hardware from Bitcoin to Dogecoin miners, they are available for purchase on bt-miners.com. BT Miners is a trusted source by both asicminervalue.com and CryptoMinder.com. Follow the affiliate link in the description and use promo code free shipping 2021 for free shipping on your order. Welcome back. So first things first, this was brought to my attention by Fox Protocol Mining on Twitter. And as you can see, he says, holy flux. Looks like folks are accumulating before the May 5th snapshot. And he showed a quick chart of flux. To which I went ahead and responded by going ahead and pulling up the coin market cap to see that we have over a 30% increase in the price of flux. Be careful, this could change, of course. What that has resulted in is all light hash rate GPUs like the 3080 Ti and the 3070 Ti to be more profitable on flux than on Ethereum at this point. And not by a little bit, but by quite a bit. And as you can see here, the 3070 Ti is $2.39 a day on Flux. If we looked at, of course, the 3080 Ti, it's at $3.40 a day after power on Flux. Now, the 3090 is not quite as profitable because you do have the full hash rate on the 3090, but it's very close. Ethereum at $3.62 a day after power and Flux at $3.56 a day after power. Even if you're on something smaller, like the 1660 Super, it's getting better. Flux is at 73 cents a day after power and Ethereum is at 91 cents a day after power. Very cool stuff going on here, of course, with Flux. And if we compare, of course, the Flux increase in price to Ethereum, you will notice that, of course, that is having an effect because Ethereum is still sitting right at that $2,800 level. So, of course, the question comes into play, should you go out and upgrade all your rigs to mine to Flux? And I would say, be very careful there. Don't be just moving all of your rigs. AMD rigs, for example, even though G Miner has improved the hash rate on the RX 6000 series, for example, over like LOL Miner, they're still not gonna be anywhere near as profitable on Flux as they are on Ethereum. That being said, of course, the GPUs, like your light hash rate GPUs, if you have a few of them, maybe go ahead and give it a shot. What's gonna happen as this video comes out though is the difficulty on the network will skyrocket. It's already starting to skyrocket, already starting to go up. Remember, in the morning show, we were at somewhere around 1.91 mega solutions a second. We're already over 2.07 mega solutions a second, meaning that people are starting to catch on. You can see minor pool or two miners right here has already shot up to 196 kilosolutions a second from 101 kilosolutions a second. Things are starting to get saucy up in the Flux network. Will these prices hold out? Probably at least until May 5th. We are going to see some price discovery here and hopefully start to see uh, basically a little bit more of how much more hash rate Flux itself can handle. Once again, if you're on light hash rate GPUs from NVIDIA, definitely check it out. If you're on anything else, you probably want to stick around that Ethereum range. And be careful here. Once again, with Flux, it does use core voltage. Your Ethereum clocks aren't going to function. It does mean you're going to utilize more power mining flux. So make sure that you're still hitting that 80% rule on the power supplies that you have available for whatever rigs you decide to move over and then pay close attention to the difficulty as it increases 
Hopefully the price will continue to increase over the next few days while we get closer to that snapshot and we'll have to see exactly what goes down. Be sure to hit the like, comment, subscribe, and notification bell down below so you get last minute news and updates from the channel, especially in regards to mining as we get closer and closer to the merge for Ethereum. It's going to be very important because there will be more late night updates like this as I catch them. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to hit the subscribe button for more or check out this playlist for more crypto content related topics.